Pluto, once the ninth planet of our solar system and now classified as a dwarf planet, has captivated astronomers and space enthusiasts for decades. From its discovery in 1930 to the groundbreaking images sent back by NASA's New Horizons mission in 2015, Pluto remains one of the most mysterious and intriguing celestial bodies in our solar system. Despite its small size and distance from the Sun, this icy world is packed with fascinating features. From towering mountains made of water ice to vast plains of frozen nitrogen, scientists have uncovered surprising details about its thin atmosphere, potential underground ocean and even the possibility of cryovolcanism. Volcanoes that spew ice instead of lava. Pluto's story begins in the early 20th century when astronomers noticed small gravitational discrepancies in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. These irregularities hinted at the existence of a ninth planet. In 1930, Clyde Tombo, a young astronomer at the Lille Observatory in Arizona, discovered Pluto by painstakingly comparing photographic plates taken on different nights. At the time, it was believed to be a planet, but its small size and unusual orbit soon raised questions about its true nature. Unlike the eight major planets, Pluto's orbit is highly elliptical, sometimes bringing it closer to the Sun than Neptune. It also follows a tilted path, deviating significantly from the nearly flat plane in which the other planets orbit. These characteristics suggested that Pluto might be something different, perhaps part of a larger population of icy objects beyond Neptune. That idea gained support in the 1990s, when astronomers discovered the Kuiper Belt, a vast region filled with thousands of small icy bodies, Pluto was no longer alone. It was simply the largest known object in a new class of celestial bodies. This led to a historic decision by the International Astronomical Union in 2006. Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet, a move that sparked controversy and debate among scientists and the public alike. Despite its demotion, Pluto remains one of the most studied objects in the outer solar system. Its surface is a mix of frozen nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide, creating a reflective and dynamic landscape. The most famous region is Sputnik Planitia, a vast smooth plain of nitrogen ice that appears to be geologically active. Surrounding this area are towering mountains made of water ice, which is strong enough to support enormous structures in Pluto's frigid temperatures, Perhaps even more surprising is Pluto's atmosphere. Although extremely thin, it contains layers of haze that stretch hundreds of miles above the surface. This haze is created when ultraviolet light from the sun interacts with methane, producing complex hydrocarbons that slowly drift downward and settle as reddish material on the surface. Unlike most planetary atmospheres which are stable, Pluto's atmosphere undergo dramatic changes as it orbits the sun. When Pluto moves closer to the Sun, its surface ice sublimate, creating a temporary atmosphere that freezes back onto the surface when Pluto moves farther away. One of the biggest mysteries surrounding Pluto is the possibility of an underground ocean. While scientists once thought Pluto was completely frozen solid, data from New Horizons suggests otherwise. Some surface features, such as fractures and ridges, hint at a subsurface layer of liquid water that might still exist beneath the thick ice shell. If confirmed, this would raise exciting questions about the potential for life in one of the most unexpected places in the solar system. Another surprising discovery from New Horizons was evidence of possible cryovolcanism volcanoes that erupt with icy, slush instead of molten rock, large domes and flow-like structures. On Pluto's surface suggest that at some point in its history, internal heat may have allowed liquid or semi-liquid materials to reach the surface. If cryovolcanism is active today, it could provide further evidence of a subsurface ocean. Pluto isn't alone in its journey around the Sun. It has five known moons, the largest of which is Charon, nearly half the size of Pluto itself. Charon is so massive that the two bodies actually orbit a common center of gravity outside of Pluto, making them more of a binary system than a typical planet-moon pair. Charon's surface is covered in water ice with deep chasms and cliffs hinting at avialent past. The other four moons, Styx, Nix, Charis, and Hydra are much smaller and irregularly shaped, likely formed from debris after a massive collision billions of years ago. Despite being demoted to a dwarf planet, Pluto continues to captivate scientists, offering insights into the early solar system, planetary geology, 
and the potential for life in extreme environments. The discoveries made by New Horizons have reshaped our understanding of this distant world, proving that even Thesmalist and most overlooked celestial bodies can hold incredible secrets. Pluto's story isn't over. Future missions may one day return to this icy world, bringing more advanced instruments capable of answering lingering questions. Could there be an active subsurface ocean? Is cryovolcanism still shaping its surface? And what other surprises does Pluto have in store? As technology advances, humanity's exploration of the solar system will continue to push the boundaries of what we know, ensuring that Pluto remains a fascinating subject of study for generations to come. Pluto's place in our understanding of the solar system has evolved dramatically over the decades. Once thought to be an isolated oddity at the edge of the planetary lineup, it is now recognized as one of the largest members of the Kuiper Belt, a vast region of icy bodies beyond Neptune. This shift in perspective has led scientists to consider not just Pluto itself, but the entire structure and formation of our solar system. One of the biggest revelations from the New Horizons mission was the diversity of Pluto's surface. Unlike many celestial bodies in the outer solar system, which are heavily cratered and geologically inactive, Pluto's landscape shows signs of constant change. The smooth plains of Sputnik Planitia, for example, suggest that Pluto's icy surface is renewed through convection, where heat from beneath causes nitrogen ice to slowly churn and refresh itself. This process, similar to the movement of magma within Earth's mantle, means that Pluto is far from a dead world. Pluto's mountains, composed largely of water ice, are another surprising feature. On Earth, water ice is relatively soft, Built in Pluto's frigid temperatures, hovering around 375 degrees Celsius, it becomes as hard as rock. Some of these mountains, such as the Tenzing Montes, rise as high as 11,000 Daffoft, comparable to the tallest peaks in the Rocky Mountains. This discovery suggests that Pluto has experienced tectonic activity, possibly driven by the slow freezing and expansion of a subsurface ocean. Another intriguing feature of Pluto's landscape is its network of valleys and ridges. Some of these formations stretch for hundreds of miles, cutting across the dwarf planet's surface. Scientists believe they may be the result of past or present geological processes, such as the slow contraction or expansion of Pluto's icy crust. These features provide important clues about the E, planet's internal structure, and how it has evolved over billions of years, perhaps one of the most surprising findings. From New Horizons was the color of Pluto's surface. While many expected it to be a uniform icy white, Pluto instead displays a range of reddish-brown and dark patches. These colors are the result of tholins, complex organic molecules that form when ultraviolet light from the sun interacts with methane in Pluto's atmosphere. As these molecules settle on the surface, they create Pluto's distinctive reddish hues. The presence of tholins is particularly intriguing because they are considered key ingredients in the chemistry that leads to life, raising fascinating questions about Pluto's potential for prebiotic chemistry. The thin atmosphere of Pluto adds another layer of complexity to its environment. Composed primarily of nitrogen, with small amounts of methane and carbon monoxide, this atmosphere is unique in that it expands and contracts significantly over Pluto's 48-year orbit around the Sun. When Pluto is closer to the Sun, some of its frozen surface sublimates, creating a transient atmosphere that is gradually lost to space. As Pluto moves farther from the Sun, the atmosphere refreezes, falling back to the surface as frost. One of the most striking atmospheric phenomena observed by New Horizons was Pluto's blue haze layers. These layers extending up to 200 kilos above the surface scatter. Sunlight in a way that resembles the blue sky on E. Earth. This effect is caused by tiny particles suspended in the atmosphere which further contribute to the reddish tint of Pluto's surface as they settle. Pluto's relationship with its largest moon, Charon, is unlike any other in the solar system. Because Charon is so large relative to Pluto, the two bodies orbit a common center of gravity located outside Pluto itself. This makes pluto Charon more of a double dwarf planet system than a traditional planet-moon pair. Charon's surface is just as intriguing as Pluto's. It features massive canyons, some of which are deeper than the Grand Canyon, as well as a vast dark region near its north pole known as Mordor Macula. Scientists believe this dark area may be made of materials that have migrated from Pluto's atmosphere, settling on Charon's surface over time. 
Unlike Pluto, which has an atmosphere and an active surface, Charon appears to be geologically dead, with little evidence of recent activity. However, cracks and fractures in its crust suggest that it may have once harbored an internal ocean that has since frozen solid. The other moons of Pluto, Styx, Nix, Kararos, and Hydra are much smaller and more irregularly shaped. These moons are thought to have formed from the debris of a massive collision that created the Pluto-Charon system billions of years ago.